Hello everyone. In today's video we are going to talk about how to create your own free proxy server. Myself Mohammed Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, we have a detailed video on what proxy servers are. But in this video, I'll show you that how you can create one and how you can use one in order to divert your traffic. Well, there are different ways that you can follow and there are different tools as well. For example, we have CC proxy, we have squid and we have different ways that we can follow from our Linux distributions as well. But in this video, I'll show you the simplest of them all. So for that purpose, the tool that I'm going to use is CC proxy. So head to the link that I have given in the description of this video and it will take you to this particular page. Well, from here, just click on download button and from here, it will allow you to have different options in terms of downloading your proxy server. I'll go with the first one. So just click on this download button and I have already done that. So I'll just click on this close button. Well, the installation process is really simple. You just need to follow the instructions that are given on the screen. Now it's time to open our CC proxy. So I'll just search for that. So I'll write here CC proxy. Here it is. From here, click on yes. And now I'll show it to you that how you can configure it in order to have your own proxy server. Well, basically this is a proxy server. You just need to configure it to have your own proxy or your own IP. Well, first of all, as you can see, it is in the start mode. We need to stop it. So I'll just click on this stop button. First of all, what you need to do, you just need to click on this options button. Here we have all the port numbers with respect to different protocols that we might use. For HTTP, we have 808. For secure, we also have 808. And down here, if you see, we have FTP and we have 2121 as a port number. For Telnet, we have 23 and many more. So basically, these are the default port numbers with respect to different protocols. There is nothing to change. And down here, we have another option that says auto detect. If you just uncheck it and if you go with the drop down list, here we have different IP addresses that we can go with. For example, if you go with this one and then click on auto detect, what it will do? Just wait and I'll tell you. Now from here, just click on OK. Now this time, we just need to click on account. From here, what we are going to do, we are going to add different users in it. And now from here, click on new. Here, you just need to give name to your user. You can name your user anything. I'll name my user as user123. After that, just check this checkbox that says password. And here, keep the password as per your liking. I'll go with password. And after that, here we have IP address and IP range. Here, either you can give your own IP address, but just click on this question mark sign. And from here, click on retrieve. What it will do? It will take the IP address on its own. And if you remember where we went with auto detect option, there we had different IP addresses and this was one of them. So basically this will be the IP address that will be assigned to this particular user that we are going to create. After that, just click on apply, click on OK. And here you can see we have successfully added a new user and the IP address of all these users are same. You can have different IP address for different user as well from the list that we had seen earlier. This is the list that I'm talking about. At the moment, I have selected this IP address. So all the user will have this IP address. Now we are good to go with everything. And now we can start our proxy server. Before we start our CC proxy server, there is one thing that I want to show you and want to tell you. And that is open the proxy settings of your Windows operating system. So I'll write here proxy settings. Here it is. I'll just open that one. Here we have an option that says manual proxy setup and under that we have an option that says use a proxy server. Well, just enable this option and here we need to add the IP address of our user that we have created. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to write the address. And if you remember, this is the IP address that we need and that is 192.168.56.1. So I'll write here 192.168.56.1. And here we need a port number. So as we are going to have HTTP and HTTPS communication, so that is why we are going to use 808. Now, after you are done adding your address and port number, make sure to click on the save button. Now our traffic will route through this proxy server. 
But before doing this step, there is one more thing that we need to do. And that is you should start your CC proxy server because it was stopped earlier. So I'll just click on this start button. And from here, I'll just enable this one once again. I'll click on save and now let's head to our web browser and again I'll write here my IP and here you can see here it is asking about the username and password so add the username and password that you had set earlier while configuring your CC proxy server so I'll just do that so I'll reload this page I'll have my username after that I'll have its password and I'll click on sign in and let's see what do we get so here you can see we have successfully changed our IP address with the help of CC proxy server so this is how you can set and configure your proxy server and you can have it for free. And that brings me to the end of today's video. I hope now that now you have a tool in your bucket list that you can use to have your own proxy server. And I hope that you must have liked watching this video. If that is the case, please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. And if you have anything to ask, please leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Till the next video, take care.